Go now. What does Muhammad teach about Satan? Let's have some fun. Volume 2, Book 21, number 245. Narrated Abdullah. A person was mentioned before the Prophet, and he was told that he kept on sleeping till morning and has not gotten up for the Fajr early morning prayers. See, he didn't get up for the morning prayer, even though the call to prayer was made. The Adhan? He didn't hear the Adhan. Why didn't he hear it? Look at Muhammad's wisdom. Look at Muhammad's wisdom. Man, he's amazing. Okay, watch here. The prophet said, Satan urinated in his ears. Satan pissed in his ears. You understand what that means? You know why that man did not hear the call to prayer in the morning? Because as he was sleeping, Satan came and started pissing in his ears. Muhammad hijabs, golden showers. The original golden shower by Satan himself. Now you see where Muhammad hijab got golden shower from? He got it from shaitan, his father, Muhammad's father. Muhammad said Satan pissed in his ears. Now I want you to go to Mimi Nikab, a.k.a. Muhammad hijab, Ali Drama's girlfriend, and say, Hey, now I know where you got golden shower from. You got it from shaitan. The devil, your father, Muhammad's father, because it seems that one day you woke up and you caught Satan pissing in your ears, and some of that piss splattered on your face, Muhammad Hijab. Sahil Bukhari, volume 4. Sahil Bukhari, volume 4, number 516. Narrated Abu Huraira, the prophet said, if anyone rouses from sleep and performs wudu, ablution before prayer, he should wash his nose... By putting water in it and then blowing it out thrice, three times. And he asked the Muslims, in the morning, when you snort water in and out of your nose three times, why do you do that? Many of them don't know. But here's Muhammad's genius answer. Muhammad, messenger of God, why do I snort water in and out of my no nose three times? Why? Pray tell. Why, Muhammad? Because Satan has stayed in the upper part of your nose all the night. Satan has stayed... And the upper part of your nose all the night. So you got to flush him out, guys. Who would have thunk it? When I'm sleeping, Satan decides to park in the upper part of my nose and sleep in the upper part of my nose, which is why I snore. Because he's blocking my airwaves, guys. Now you see why you snore. Wow. Wow. Timmy. Wow. Wow. Now you see why I keep you up at night. You see why I snore and you keep shouting at me, Timmy, about to come off the hinges? Dude, it's not my fault. Satan is blocking the airways through my nostril, forcing me to breathe through my mouth, dude. At least you can get up and just, you know, throw some water in my nostrils. You see now why, Muslims? You see why now, Muslims, snort water in and out of their nose? You know why? Satan parks there. So now here, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Whoosh. I'm sorry, dude. I, I have to laugh, too. Whew. Okay. Do you see why you have to snort water in and out of your nose three times? But here's my question for Kenneth White, who's embarrassed of his prophet, ashamed of his prophet. And I thank God. I pray Jesus keeps shaming you until you repent and give your life to Jesus Christ. Here's my question. If Satan is in the nose of Muslims, does that mean Satan is omnipresent? If he's in my nose and your nose and her nose and his nose and he's in everyone's noses at night, does that mean Satan is omnipresent? How can Satan be in all noses at the same time if he isn't omnipresent? But if he's omnipresent, does that mean Muhammad turns Satan into a god equal to Allah? Hmm. Secondly, I know Satan is a spirit creature that has a spiritual shape, a spiritual shape, but his spiritual shape is not made of the same substance of the earth. It's not made of the same matter of the earth. How then does water flush out a spiritual creature who has a spiritual shape? How does water flush him out? And is Satan that small? I thought Satan is pretty big, but is he that small? 
that it can fit in my the upper part of my nose? Or does Satan shrink in size and multiply himself in seven billion plus nostrils overnight? Wow. Ah, but hold on, man. Wait, man. Wait. This one is even better. Wait, man. Wait. I'm sorry. Satan pisses in people's ears. Satan can stay in your nose, but he also does something else. Sal Bukhari, Volume 1, Number 582. <clears throat> Sal Bukhari, Volume 1, Number 582. Narrated Abu Huraira. Abu Huraira. His name means Father of the Cats. Allah's Apostle said, when the Adhan, the call to prayer is pronounced, Satan takes to his heels running and he passes wind. Satan farts, passes wind with noise during his flight in order not to hear the Adhan. When the Adhan is completed, he comes back and again takes to his heels when the Iqama is pronounced. Okay, let me repeat that part again. I guess you didn't catch it. When the call to prayer is pronounced, Satan hears it. Takes his heels and starts farting. I can't even do it. With noise during his flight in order not to hear the Adhan. Saint takes to his heels and passes wind with noise during his flight or in order not to hear the Adhan. Now, who would have thunk it? A spirit creature with a spiritual shape farts, farts so loud so he doesn't hear the call to prayer. No, 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 no. I don't want to hear it. So let me start passing gas. <sighs> he pisses in people's ears. And he stays in the upper part of your nose. Now, I'm kind of scared now. You know why I'm scared? If Satan is staying in the upper part of your nose, Muslim, does he fart when he's there? And is he pissing in your nose when he's there? How do you know if he is or if he isn't? What guarantee do you have that when Satan is in your nose, he won't start farting? And if he can fart, he can also crap, right? So if he can fart, that means he can take a crap. What guarantee do you have he's not crapping in your nose? He's not pissing in your nose? He's not farting in your nose as you're trying to sleep? Is there a prayer that Muhammad taught you to protect against Satan from crapping in your nose, farting in your nose, and pissing in your nose? If he can piss in your ears... Then he can piss in your nose when he's staying there. If he can fart, he can crap. So is he farting and crapping in your nose? How do you know? How do you protect yourself from the unholy crap, piss, and wind of shaitan? And by the way, here's what Muhammad Muskhan Khan said about the hadith that Saint says in the upper part of your nose. Here's his explanation, guys. Look what he says. We should believe that Satan actually stays in the upper part of one's nose, though we cannot perceive how, for this is related to the unseen world of which we know nothing except what Allah tells us through his messenger. You see what he said? If you're a true Muslim and you're a Sunni Muslim and you believe in the Sunnah, you have to believe, you have to believe Satan actually stays in your nose. Here it is. We should believe that Satan actually stays in the upper part of one's nose, though we cannot perceive how.